Everyone knows who Gary Vee is. Gary Vaynerchuk, yeah? Uh, he's oh been... Oh, boy. Here he's we been, go. Um, he's probably the biggest influencer out there. Business influencer. <laughs> <clears throat> well, apparently, he's getting divorced. <gasps> okay? Is he or did he? I th Well, it's you're going to take a look it's at on. these pictures I, I and you're going to be very... Is. You're going to be... Uh, yeah, I mean, you're, it's, it's... They use the word allegedly, but when you start... Posting pictures of your new girlfriend. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much mm -hmm. Bravo, Gary. How old Bravo. is he again? <laughs> is he? How old is he? Tyler, how old is Gary? I'm, I'm willing to bet that he's in his late 40s. That's For, my guess. 47, 46? I'd say 48. I'm guessing. 46. Okay. Okay. 46. Okay. He's 46, but he looks like he's 48. Mm -hmm. Here we go. So Gary is worth between 160 and 200 million, which may or may not be cut in half in the coming months. Mm -hmm. Right? That's how we get rich. Sorry. Oh, there it was, ladies and gentlemen. People want to know. <laughs> the Adam, richest women what? in the world are byproduct of divorce. Thank you. Or Adam, people want to say, Adam, this is a financial show. Why do you always want to talk about relationships and it dating and lifestyle? It all goes together. It all goes together. <laughs> Thank you, Tori. Yeah. Um, you were saying. Sorry. So basically, he's been famously very private with his wife. He never posts pictures of his wife, ever. Never posts pictures of his kids, ever. Next thing you know, boom. This is the pictures that he's dropping. Tyler, can we put this but in the... damn. He, so he's with this new girl he called... He took him down, though, I believe. So he's married his wife, Lizzie, in 2004. They have two kids together. Is Lizzie getting half? Now, this is his new lady friend, girlfriend, Mona Vand. So, ladies and gentlemen, thoughts on Gary Vee? Thoughts on what's happening here? And then I'll open it up for discussion. Oh, um, I'm going to let the ladies go first okay. on this, because this is going to be... Do you want to go I first? think... It, Gary V is literally the representation of this microwave society, of this hustle culture. Be positive, just fucking work, just do it, and all this shit. So she's beautiful looking at her, like it's fine. But Gary V just fake, really fake. Fake? Yeah. Really? Why fake? Just because it's the. If you really watch his content, he contradicts himself every time. That's what I took from it, but it's this constant hustle. And I'm like, do you even see your kids? Just curious. Well, you might only see them half the time now. Do you have a. Um, That's if he's lucky. That's if he's lucky. Ooh. I don't think there's any proof to show that he spent time with those kids. Ooh, damn. Well, there's no pictures online. Let me ask Brody. Brody? If, if, he's, if, if, if he's not Gary V. If he's not worth what 168 on 200 million, 160 to 200. Does he get with that girl? With that girl, that choice. I don't think so. And I also She's think um, I think it's really sad to see this because it kind of reflects the fear that a lot of women have is that mm -hmm. once we have your babies, yeah, they're in That's our body for you. This. We do Thank everything you. for you, and then you just kind of leave us for a younger mm -hmm. woman. Yeah. Right. So is that a woman's to... biggest fear? Yeah. Is uh, that well, he I married her in 2004 was, mm -hmm. when he was jack shit? He was basically selling wine a in a cellar. A shit. And he starts doing that. stuff online. Oh, I got, I got now he's worth stuff. a couple hundred yeah. million. Yeah. And yeah. now he's yeah. he's dating yeah. this yeah. younger and then, I mean, chick. On the bright side, yep. his his ex wife and I now has eighty million dollars. So I mean, I would take it. We'll see. <laughs> you go date whoever you want. If like you she go ahead. She can go do wine but parties with Mackenzie Bezos. Watching men. Mackenzie's the richest woman in the world because of Jeff Bezos. Watching famous rich alpha men. Never post pictures of their kids. Never talk about their families. And wow. then post this. Are you kidding me? I, I don't mind if there's no kids on the social media. That bothers me. It freaks me out when people put their kids on social media. Do you post pictures media. of your boy, the past boyfriends? Have you ever posted pictures of your past boyfriends only a, on Instagram? Only of my first boyfriend. Um, but no, none of the guys you're involved with now. But I'll explain mm. why. Let me explain why. It actually doesn't have to do a lot with, um, I don't know what you're, I actually don't know where you're going with this, but I'll tell you where it comes from. My family's very religious. It's really awkward for me to be open about my dating life and my sex life with my family. Do you believe Orthodox? That. that makes sense. Uh, modern Orthodox. Okay. Yeah. There's a modern. So all Orthodox of my siblings, way. by the yeah, all of my siblings, by the way, uh, got married without. Everybody touching is their rushing partner. to your Instagram right now. You yeah. realize that, right? <laughs> <laughs> They've never touched their partner before they got married. Their first kiss, in some cases, was on their wedding day. They met through a matchmaker, and they all have relatively healthy marriages like really beautiful healthy marriages so do my parents yeah. and like there's something to be said about that uh, well let me ask you guys a question then because Gary here obviously he's with this girl now he's not he's never posted a picture of his wife not a once interesting not a once interesting he's the biggest social media guy out there and he has never posted a picture of his wife I don't even know if he had kids I had to google it mm -hmm. and now boom he's single here's this chick oh, and there's more pictures by the way yeah. One at a Super Bowl, would you having say, a great time, would you on two, vacation. Would you two say that that's a trophy wife? Absolutely. Okay. Tori? I've seen him. 
<laughs> I've seen him actually talk really well about his wife in a lot of interviews. So. Well, let's see what happens now. All right, so here's here's but, here's why this rubs here's why this rubs women the wrong please way. Please explain. Okay, Rolo. so I'm going to quote Rich Cooper right now. Rich has this one saying. It says. Uh, uh, women don't care about men's struggles. They wait at the finish line and they fuck the winners. That's what it basically boils down to. Now, I half agree with that mm -hmm. because when you're 23 years old and you're looking for, you can't uh, find the winner at 23 years old, or maybe you don't actually want the winner at 23 years old because you're exploring your options and doing everything that Western culture mm -hmm. tells you what to do. Um, you're looking for a man who has potential, looking for a guy who has a potential winner Ambition. because they can't really, because the guys who are winners are very few and far between. Mm -hmm. And they're usually a lot older than you because it takes longer for a man to mature into the success that he has mm -hmm. um, over that over the course this of This is why you say women long. are and men must, must become. become. Okay, so what happens here is you've got, and this, Gary is the, the epitome of the worst of women's fears who had to make a bet on a guy who didn't have jack shit and yeah. had a wine company back in the Five, day. Five, six, nebbishy I little dude. I guarantee took a chance you, on him. I guarantee you, Gary's wife took yeah. a chance on him and said, this guy's got a potential. He's got ambition. He's got passion. He's, got, he's not a winner yet. He's yeah. not across the finish line, like no. Rich was saying. But I think he could be a winner by the time he's in his mid 40s. Mm. And lo and behold, he did become a winner. But And so yep. the worst- Definitely a winner. So what happens is when women have to make a bet on that man's potential, it's usually when they're 23 or they're mm, younger yeah. and they're trading their sexuality, their sexual agency, and putting that as the bet on the table that this horse is gonna make it across yeah. the finish line. And so what happens is when that guy actually does become the winner, yep. there's an, a, an investment of resources. Yeah. In this way, it's women's sexual agency. My beauty, my beauty, my, my beauty, whatever, you know, my fertility, I'll give you kids, blah, blah, blah. I have all of this investment in this guy. And now you're getting with that. But now you have, now you're getting with the hot chick because you couldn't get with her mm -hmm. when you met me. It's disrespectful. And, but most to, men to the don't do that. Yeah. I'll say that. Like most guys class. that know that you make the bet or whatever, if a girl makes a bet on the guy, most guys will not leave and go for the younger girl. And that's why Just we saying. have. You're saying most guys won't most do that? Most will not. They'd rather be in an unhappy marriage if they're unhappy. Who knows I'm, if it's unhappy? I'm just saying if she said, here's my, my agency, my sexual agency at 22, whatever. The guy will respect it and not do what he did. He's just like that's the, why the, the, one out. That's why I asked you if, it, if you thought she was a trophy wife because yeah. that's the yeah. worst fear because that trophy wife represents the loss of investment of yeah. all that stuff that so built up to that. Although she made $80 million. That's we why divorces are what this? they are. This hasn't right? happened yet. And now so you know why divorce is what it is. Does this story <laughs> make you like Gary Moore or like him less? I don't know that much about him, but I definitely don't like him. I also, I can... I admit that some people get bored sexually mm -hmm. in a marriage. Maybe divorces. Maybe that's why they got divorced. I don't care. I don't know. I'm just saying this reflects women's uh, distrust of men. Worst Sounds like fear. you're like, how about you, Tori? Like him more or like him less after this? I never really was a big fan of him, but his... Uh, no, I'm I'm used to seeing this kind of thing. So Ooh. no, not really. Rolo, thoughts? I'm not surprised. Well, let's just say this. At least he's not Jeff Bezos because Jeff yeah. Bezos traded Mackenzie uh, Bezos for Lauren <laughs> Dirty Sanchez. <laughs> <laughs> 49 year, 49 year old yes. Lauren Dirty predator, Sanchez. Predatory. Who is hot for uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, yeah. apparently, as well. So oh, gotcha. she's beautiful. Well, here's my beef with here, Gary. Like She's a career predator woman. Yeah, she's, he's not the first one. Yes, that's <laughs> he's true. not the first. Here's my I beef wonder. with Gary. <laughs> it it just seems so disrespectful. You've never posted mm -hmm. a picture of your wife ever. And now you're, you know, you're in the puppy dogs and uh, and kitten Gary, phase with your Gary relationship. Is, Gary is and you're posting this relationship He's very blue pill. with this girl. I just find it so He's disingenuous. A bitch. I don't yeah, know. It's yeah, it's embarrassing. Gary, it's you embarrassing. Know, there's a lot of people that love you, but this is a dirty move. Gary is not used to this. He's Gary is not yeah, used to a literally. hot piece of ass like that having anything to do with like his his true. experience with women yeah. over the. Yes. Remember, you asked me about like Jordan Peterson. Yes. The reason why I have sort of a, a, a lesser opinion of him is because mm -hmm. he doesn't have the experience with women to speak exactly. knowledgeably about it. I would never take advice about women from Gary Vee. Sorry. It she smells like sorry. a midlife yeah. crisis. I would because, never yeah. take advice because, from because he would he would because his experience with women is limited to his wife yeah. from that from that point exactly. on. And then he's probably never ha enjoyed the attentions and affections and everything of a of a woman that choice. Fair enough.